Hi everyone, and welcome to this video where I'll show you how to make a Secret Santa generator in Excel. Secret Santa is a tradition where group members are randomly assigned a person to whom they give a gift during Christmas. Therefore in this video, we will start by assigning a random number to each person in our Secret Santa gift exchange, which will later ensure that people are randomly assigned. Using these random numbers, we will then decide who gives who a gift ensuring that everyone receives a gift and no one gets gifted twice. To start, we can use the rand function to assign Vlad a random number between zero and one. We can then toggle this formula down to the names below. You'll notice that every time we edit a cell, these random numbers will recalculate. To prevent this from happening, we can copy them and then click Alt ESV to paste only the values. Alternatively, you can copy the cells, right click them, and then select Pay Special followed by Values. Now that we've done this, the values in these cells will remain static. We will use these values towards the end to ensure everyone is assigned a random person. Before we can calculate the outputs, we also need to calculate the number of participants. To calculate this, we can use the count A function to count the number of cells that are not empty in column B. So we type equals count A, click cell B5, and then click Control Shift and the down arrow twice to select all cells within column B. Therefore, there are eight participants in our secret center. We will use this number later to ensure that the first person is gifted as well, which will become clearer towards the end. Next, let's use our inputs and intermediary calculations to calculate the outputs. We can start by adding the names of the gift givers, which will be each person in our list, as each person will both give and receive a gift. We can retrieve the first person by typing equals B5. We can then toggle this down to return all remaining names. Next, let's add the gift receivers. The receiver will be the next person below, so we can start with Will, and then toggle this down again. Currently, Adam has no one to give a gift to, and Vlad is not receiving a gift. This is because the final cell here is referring to cell B13, which is empty. What it should be referring to is cell B5, which would return Vlad's name. To overcome this, we can use these numbers in column H, as well as cell F4 containing the number of participants in an if statement. We want to tell Excel that if the pair number is the same as the number of participants, then we want to return Vlad's name, whereas if this condition does not hold, then we want to return the next person in the list. So if cell H5 equals cell F4, then return cell B5, and if this condition does not hold, then return cell B6. And before we click enter, let's add absolute references to ensure cells F4 and B5 remain static. We can now toggle this down. Therefore, this has solved the problem. Each person is both giving and receiving a gift, and no one is being gifted twice. We're nearly done. The only thing we need to do now is randomize who gives and who receives a gift. To do this, we can sort these random numbers by clicking on the random number column heading and using the filter function, which is within the data tab. We can now sort these from smallest to largest. As you can see, the person giving and receiving the gift is now completely random. So that's how you can make a secret Santa generator in Excel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.